Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see some of the other update operators that are available in the MongoDB when we are updating a document. Already we have seen some of the update operators. Those are nothing but min and the inc operator we have seen it. Now let's try to see about the max operator, unset operator and also rename multiply operator so these are some of the uh, operators that are available for when we are trying to update a particular field in a document let's try to see those things before proceeding to this max operator let's recap the about the min operator what we have learned in our previous session so just i will try to show you so here we are having a db dot results dot find i'm having only one record that is nothing but it is having in two fields three fields normally one is an id Another one is an highest and another one is the lowest. So we are having obviously two fields that is nothing but highest and the lowest. The highest is having a value of 100. The lowest is having a value of 160. So now I don't know what is the value of this highest. So what I, what is my requirement is the requirement is such a way that I want to decrease the highest value. Okay. I want to make it as 90. So for example, if the highest value already the highest value present, it is less than 90 means. Okay. Keep that value like that only. So if it is 80 or 70 means keep that value like that only. If the value is less than, if the value is greater than 90 means, so make it as the base price that is nothing but a 90. So here in our situation, the value is greater than 90 or not. Yes, it is greater than 90. Now I want to update it to 90. I want to reset it to 90. If it is less than 90 means something around 90, 80, 70, 60 like that. So we need to keep it like that only. We should not update it to 90. So that means the minimum value it should be 90 only the minimum value it should be something like 90 the max thing so let's try to see in order to update the scenario we can use this min operator so update one so here i am not writing any condition okay i want to update over there as there is only one field available so i will be updating i will be updating that one without applying any filter normally if you are having multiple documents and all those things you can apply a filter condition so that you can filter the documents and you can update only those documents here I can here I can apply dollar max sorry dollar min operator why because I want to update the lowest one so which field I need to update so here I need to update the highest field and what is the value I need to update is nothing but a 90 so here it will try to now what is this min operator will try to check is so which is what is the minimum value of this highest field so whether already existed value is minimum or the value which we have provided in the query is minimum it will try to see which is minimum value so here the value which we are trying to provide in the query is a minimum value so now what it will try to do here it will update this value with the highest so here then after executing this query the highest value will be 90 let's try to execute here if i try to press enter it has matched the record one and also it has modified the record one now let's try to see what could be the value of this highest db dot results dot find now the value of the highest is nothing but 90 so that means the minimum value has been updated. Now let's say that I want to update the highest value to 100. Okay, so I want to rechange it to 100. So whichever is lowest, I want to retain it that one only. So let's try to see db dot results dot update one. And here I will write, I don't want to apply this one. So here I can apply dollar min and I want to apply the highest value to 100. This time what it will try to do is so it will try to check this field the already existed value is 90 and the value provided in the query is 100 it will try to see what it will try to see what is the minimum value of these two fields so here the already existing value 90 is the minimum value so then it will not update with the 100 it will maintain this 90 as the old value only it will try to retain it let's try to see the output if i try to press enter now it has matched it has it has matched records matched documents has been found but the document has not been updated if you try to see the output it will be something like 90 only it will not it is not updated with the 100 thing so this is how we will be uh, this is how the min operator works and the another operator what we will try to see is about the max operator so by, by max operator what it will try to do is it will work in a different way so whatever is the maximum value it will try to update with the maximum value for example let's say that i want to apply it a maximum of 100 so if it is less than 100 means try to update it with the 100 value if it is greater than 100 means try to return it like that only so if i try to show you so here instead of applying the minimum i want to apply max now i want to apply something like 150 
okay whatever this is the maximum i want to apply so now here it will try to see that so what is the maximum value in these two th in these two values so the value provided in the query is 150 and 90 it will compare which is highest so this 150 is the maximum one now it will update the value with the 150 previously min means it will try to check that minimum value and it will try to return that minimum value but here that 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 will not happen so if i try to press enter so it has been modified so here it has been updated to 150 okay so if i try to say see the same thing with an 100 it will try to see that whichever is the maximum value for this between these two so 100 uh, 150 is the maximum value so it will retain that 100 only if you try to see modify count has not been updated so this is how the max operator actually works and another thing what i want to discuss you is multiply operator for example we are having 150 and a 60 value between uh, these two operators we are these two values we are having 150 and 60 and now i want to multiply with a 2 so how can i multiply here is so db dot results dot update one and here i will not apply the condition and here i can use dot multiply and here i can say that highest okay i can apply without using this one also highest so i want to apply something like 2 and the lowest so i want to apply with the 2 okay now let's try to update it so that's it so now if i try to oh sorry uh, okay let's try to keep it update uh, so if i try, try to see so here 150 is there so we are trying to update multiply with the 2 so 150 into 2 it has become 300 and here lowest is there 2 you know i want to multiply with the 2 so 60 into 2 120 so this is about the multiply operator whatever multiply operator what it will try to do is it will update the particular field so what you have provided the number into that value so 150 into 2 60 into 2 so those many times it will be multiplied so this is about the multiply operator so it's a pretty straightforward only so now for example let's say that we are having db dot results dot find so here we are having the field name as highest and the lowest i want to i don't like i didn't like this uh, what i can say the fields of this document so i want to change the fields of this document so how can we change these fields of this document let's try to see it. db dot results dot update one and i can use like this filter and here i can use a keyword that is nothing but rename and i want to provide what is the rename so i want to change the highest highest to high score okay high score and the lowest to low score lowest to low score that's it so now what it is happening highest high score is not defined so dollar rename i want to update update one so we are trying to do the same thing only so field one so let's uh, let's try to see highest and lowest so it's correct only highest to lowest let's try to see again let's try to see it let's try to apply it high score is not defined okay so it may be thinking of something oh, okay okay i need to add this uh, single quote right for this one so key value and uh, I, it's thinking something like a variable name let's try to update it that's it now if i try to see the output see the highest and the low, low, lowest field names has been renamed to high score and the low score so this is how we can apply the we can rename the fields in a document let's say that i am having a such a scenario that uh, db dot results dot results dot update one so update one i am not applying the filter here so i want to op i want to add one field in the document dollar set so i can use a price of something like 123 or anything so now if i try to see so here a new field has been added that is nothing but a price value of 123 fine now what i want to do is so now i want to have a scenario that okay i have mistakenly added this price field i want to remove this price field so how can i remove so one thing what, what i can do is db dot results dot update one and i can use like this and here i can use again dollar set so price of null i can use something like this but this is but still so we are we are able to make the price value as null but what my requirement is i have to completely remove this field okay in these documents i don't want this field to be present i don't want this value to be null also completely i want to remove that key value 
how can i remove is so we can use something like let's try to remove so we can we can use something like db dot results dot update one and here i can use filter and here i can use dollar unset okay dollar unset so what is the name i want to use so i want what is what is the name of i want to remove price okay so here you can mention is it is empty okay there is no need to mention the value or anything as this one is a json object so you need to mention something value so here we are trying to completely remove this price value right so we can, we can mention it as empty that's it if i try to press enter now if you try to see here completely that price key has been removed so this is how we will be using these operators so we have learned about the min operator max operator multiply operator rename operator and also the unset operator so minimum operator it will try to update the minimum value maximum value it will try to update the maximum value multiply operator it will try it will multiply the value with the number of times the value which you, you have provided and the rename it will rename the keys or fields of a document and last one is the unset it will try it will remove the completely remove the key in a document so these are all about the update operators hope you understood about these update operators if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you